Alright. Here are our... This looks so radical. Are we going to fight Dr. Wily? And, and I don't... No, we're going to I mean, fight... Dr. Light. <laughs> no, that's how we get home. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> they all have voice acting. All of them. Yeah, grenade man, let's uh... Let's, let's just get this out of the way here. So, according to this, according to, I guess, what is this, part of the manual? He's sadomasochistic, as he enjoys both inflicting and receiving pain, pain partially f through getting himself caught in the explosions he creates. Okay. Yeah, that's a... That's a... Wily just decided, you know what, I'm keeping this in. I, a, robot, a combat robot that likes being hurt, that's... But he won't think about the pain when he's fighting, because he likes it. Yeah, but that's also bad. Because he won't dodge it. I guess that's true. But why dodge it when you can ignore it? But you can't ignore it, as you'll see. It still hurts. Oh, I mean, I guess that's a good point. Uh, also, um, a special overdrive system is installed in him, allowing him to move very quickly and temporarily boost his power. He's stationed at an ammunition factory somewhere in Chile. Oh. Yeah, we actually have World... Uh, I mean, Mega Man 6 had that too, but, you know. The thing is, something interesting is that... In the... what is it? The Rockman 8 manga... Wily sends grenades, Grenade Man to destroy Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, basically, Gra Grenade Man's mission is to go out on the streets and destroy everybody's chocolates. The role points out how incredibly stupid it is, it's just like, you know, people are just gonna make more. Like, Grimane said, like, you're right, attack to destroy the chocolate factories. And yeah, that constitutes for a chapter. Just one more adventure in the Mega Man anime, uh, Mega Man manga, uh, I guess. I mean... That sounds like such an anime plot, so... No, it sounds like a kid's anime plot. Yeah, and look at Mega Man's voice. I... What were they thinking? Like... I really don't understand. There's something called quality testing and you know, basic understanding of English language. Yeah, but they're Japanese. They don't have a basic understanding of the English No, no, language. no, no. This, this is an English voice. This is These people probably didn't care because they were getting paid. <laughs> you know what? Yes, that is probably why. And that is sad. Yeah, well, I mean, if you don't have direction, whatever. Uh, sure. Um, now we're fighting... I... Ururun. I couldn't remember the name of the person from Kirby. Dark Matter. Oh, right. Yeah, but his name is Ururun. They're struggling to say that. No. No. I'm not. Okay, then. Tell us his name again. I mean... You should have been paying attention. That's right. And that true. is your... Punishment. You'll never know his name again because you weren't paying attention. I mean, what? I'm. So this is a junk factory. It's a uh, ammunition factory. This is all the junk from the ammunition. So instead of hitting you with bullets and rockets, I don't think it's in it's a room you where. With junk. Yes. That's cool. Indeed, it uses what's around, and what around is junk. That's resourceful, actually. Why didn't you just decide to fight you somewhere else then? I don't know. Why why he was locked why in that room. Why didn't it decide to fight you in the spike room? I mean... It's a, it hey, has basic... Because I'm playing a lot of Donkey Kong Oops. Country. You see, that's another instance where just like my, my finger was just actually hitting the down button while just like going left. Because right. I'm playing a lot of Donkey Kong Country, I can greatly appreciate foreground puzzles. Oh, for a second there, you're just like, because I've been playing Donkey Kong Country, I can greatly appreciate mallets. I wouldn't have known at all what you're talking about. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Um, it is at this point where... You need roll to... Fl no, I mean, rush. Dog. No, actually, we don't... I, I forget, but we don't get rush coil. We get... Rush bike, which oh is goodness. the most useless thing. It's the most 90s anime thing. But it's bike. back. 
but it's actually useless. Well, I mean, you can go fast in it and technically like jump farther, but it's, it's, I want my it's, rush coil. It, it's it's making it less functional to make it cooler looking. Yeah, in this case, I actually agree with you on that. But the thing is, yeah, go away, rush, please. Oh, well, look, there go my platforms. Hey, the secret police, they're really doing it. Yeah, yeah, got to be. I guess they got the power actually, up in the enemy. The thing is that, um, you actually can do a double jump with your Mega Ball, just depending on how you explode it. And that's very useful, it's just that up until, like, the third stage, I think I forget that I can do that, because there are certain points where I'm just like, I swear that I should be able to jump up there, but I don't remember how. How? Either way, there are upgrades in this game as well that, that you buy using the bolts you collect. So it's generally a good idea to get them. So it goes up from Mega Ball to Mega Cannonball? What? Upgrades. No, not upgrades to your weapons. Upgrades to you. We upgraded from Mega Man to... Ultraman. Oh. See, here's me trying to slide. But you're jumping well. Or were you not supposed to do that? You're supposed to slide! It's faster! Oh, I always love those situations where the stage is being destroyed behind you. And you're running for your life. Except that... Well, yeah, that's, that's a puzzle really for this. Controls. Yeah, well, that's the that's the puzzle for this. You have to race for your life, Charlie Brown. That is that a book? I don't know. I'm not sure. Why I said Charlie Brown. Yeah, I'm wondering about that. Uh, it's it sounds <laughs> that like... just does not sound like a Charlie Brown thing to yeah, do. Yeah. Oh, by I, the way, I why didn't you just climb the ladder? I the thing is that I was like pressing X, just like oh come on, but I accidentally pressed X once I actually hit the ladder, which means that you fall off the ladder. Great. There, there, there must have been a racing plot line, like some some sort of soapbox Charlie, cart. Yeah, that I was about to say that Charlie Brown's soapbox cart. But, At least it's better than Garfield cart. But I don't know. I, I mean, Charlie Brown has been around since the insert correct time here, but I haven't seen anything relating to racing before. Turns out the explosion on the box doesn't hurt me. Oh. So that's what Did I was panicking before. Oh, that's, uh, that's a siren. Because that doesn't give you much time. It's not as tight as it looks, but it is tight. But it seems to be really loose if it's swinging like that. <sighs> sure, you get that one. Yep. Either way, knockback is still so very do much we, a. Do we have more foreground? puzzles in other levels? Yeah. I sure hope so. Yeah, the, the puzzles in these levels are actually more engaging. Um, uh, I just missed that because something has been in my eye for the past few minutes. Okay, sure. Either way... Is he laughing? I honestly couldn't tell you. I th it, it's almost like he's having a hiccup. So why is he? Why is he what? I've never noticed that. They, a lot of these people made the stage collapse. And what if it just, everything just collapses on the both of them and they both die? Uh, I've just, never thought of that before. Yeah, well, keep thinking, I guess. Also, As, I'm making fun of the enemy style here. And that thing in my eye just got so annoying. Yeah, it's, it's just because you're. Oh, yeah, cool. there we go. I was oh, keeping that a secret. That's a good one. And then oh. the rest of the building just falls on top of it. Oh, sweet lord. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm... just barely. Look at that little slither oh, wow. I have. Okay. Yeah, there's the... There's the state of part. Yeah, right okay. there. That's something. I wish to forget about it. I mean... I'm making fun of the arts though. Yes, you are. Deservedly. Really. But, at the same time, I have to appreciate that it's not generic sprite art or really bad 3D models like 90... 99 number 9. It's... it's... it's, it's, it's unique. And that's good. Oh, oh, that's a new one. And... Oh. <laughs> Every time. Okay.